This adorable little stamp set in yesterday with these cute little elephants. I ordered it on AliExpress. I'm going to make a sky out of this plain white cardstock. I believe it's cut at four by five and a quarter. The colors that I'm going to use are this, these are all distress inks. This one is shaded lilac. Peacock Feathers, Chipped Sapphire, I got out this black soot, but I don't think I'm going to use it. If I was doing a night sky, then I would. This one is Pine Needles, and I have this lid on wrong. And then this one is Evergreen Bow. So the first one I want to start with is this Shaded Lilac. I know we think of lilac and we think of purple but it's a bluish purple and it tends to work with skies. I don't know why, but it does. So that's what I use. I'm not an expert at blending by any means. I just do what works for me. I have a scrap piece of paper behind it. And then I start on the page, or excuse me, off the page and work my way onto the page. And if you hold it at a slight angle, excuse my poor hands, then you won't get as many of those circles. <laughs> holding a balloon, so I'm going to have to stamp out a little balloon for him. Then this little guy looks like he's just chilling. <laughs> I had a Martha Stewart balloon punch. Here I am struggling to cut that thing out. Of course, they are quite large in comparison to these little elephants. But that's okay. One of them is supposed to be picking up the elephant. So it would have to be big, right? This little piece here is cut at 3 and 3 quarter by 5. I didn't want to mount it directly onto a bigger piece of cardstock because it's just too much real estate for me. I don't like it like that. I cut this little black piece at four by five and an eighth. But again, I could have mounted that just like this. Too much real estate for me. Do what you like. But for me, I don't like that much real estate. I had card bases out of this little guy, but it's too flimsy, so I use them as card mats. I cut them in half and use them as card mats. I cut this at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So I'm using this is another one that's kind of flimsy, but once I add my mats, it'll be okay. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, standard A2 size. The other half of this card base, I'm going to put on the inside with a white mat. The reason I went with a gray cardstock is because my little elephants are gray. I did one a darker gray, one a lighter gray, and actually this one was colored with alcohol markers and this other was colored with just 
Crayola colored pencils. And then I used my Martha Stewart balloon punch. I used this baker's twine. It's probably too thick, but I think it'll be okay. They're bigger balloons. And I popped those up on foam after I glued my baker's twine to it. I glued it with the um, art glitter glue. Can't think of words today. And I popped both of my little elephants up on the same foam. And this guy will get cut down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I'll cut a white piece that goes on top of it that I'll cut at four by five and a quarter. I might do wishing you tons of fun and then the happy birthday on the inside. This little guy's adorable. I might put him on the inside. I want this balloon almost upright. Well, that's too low because this string isn't tight enough. I don't want it super tight because I want it to look like it's kind of lifting him up to carry him away. I, this tape, it's the two-sided half-inch that I get at um, Joanne Fabric. It is no joke. It has some serious sticking power. But you know, when you think about it, I use my wet glue to stick embellishments on. Not necessarily when I think about paper, because usually I use two-sided tape or my ATG for that. It's that automatically assigning things to things when it's just silly. Glue is glue. Whoops. Whether it's wet glue or it's two-sided tape, it's irrelevant. As long as it's sticking whatever you want to whatever, whatever else you want, isn't that really what matters? Unless you're me and you just stick it to all kinds of things. But you know, when you think about it, I use my wet glue to stick embellishments on. Not necessarily when I think about paper, because usually I use two-sided tape or my ATG for that. It's that automatically assigning things to things when it's just silly. Glue is glue. Whoops. Whether it's wet glue or it's two-sided tape, it's irrelevant as long as it's sticking whatever you want to whatever whatever else you want. Isn't that really what matters? Unless you're me and you just stick it to all kinds of things. Because I don't want to put white on white. I think I'm going to use this yellow and I'm going to stamp it out and then I'll make a banner out of it and slip it into this area here. That's cute. See, that breaks up that big white cloud, too. No. How, could it, how cute would it be with one of these little packages on top of his nose? Or an ice cream cone. Wouldn't that be adorable? So I'm going to do that. So let's do this tiny um, present here. I'll need to use a little bit of pencil down on the down here underneath him to kind of give him some ground to stand on. All right. Well, I mean, he'd have to carry it on his trunk, right? He don't have any hands to carry it on. Carry it on. I wonder how he wrapped it. <laughs> oh no, I'm just being silly. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. All right, let's stick it down. I think it turned out adorably. 
too, right? If you guys would subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And hit that little bell so that you can be notified when I up upload a video. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me, guys. I certainly do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and a glorious tomorrow.